Howdy folks, Super Koopa here, welcoming you to my next Let's Play. This one is gonna be... Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is, Metroid 3. Better known as... Super Metroid. Yes, one of the greatest games ever made, in my personal opinion. One of my favorite Metroids of all time, although not my personal all-time favorite, but definitely in my top five Metroid games for sure. So, without further ado, let's get started. I'm playing this on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, if you couldn't tell by the background. Now, I should state that I initially started a playthrough of Super Metroid, a Let's Play, and I did so on my Nintendo Switch, but there were a couple different things I tried to do. Number one, I thought about doing post instead of live commentary, and I felt like that wasn't working. Another was I made a whole bunch of mistakes. I had just beaten the game for the first time about a week before I started, and I got a little overconfident and started to make some really big mistakes in terms of where I was going and what I was doing, so hopefully this one will have less mistakes. I can't make any promises. Also, this is not going to be a 100% playthrough. This is just going to be start to end, me finding what I can in terms of energy tanks, sub tanks, and power-ups. And yeah, let's, let's jump right into it. If you've played the game before, you know, none of this, I don't need to go over anything, but uh, if you're new to the Metroid series, you're in for a treat. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. This is a very special game. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebus. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. This is recapping the very first game in the Metroid series. So you're Samus Aran, a bounty hunter who was tasked with destroying the Mother Brain. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR-388. I completely eradicated them except for a larva which after hatching followed me like a confused child and that's also in Metroid 2 which is on the Game Boy so this game does a good job of recapping the past two if you haven't played them I think they figured a lot of people wouldn't have and I really like that they just recently remade Metroid 2 onto the 3DS well not recently but fairly recently I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres so scientists could study its energy-producing qualities. Samus is one amazing bounty hunter. She stares down all sorts of evil and intimidating enemies and creatures. She's just awesome. But just because she's a bounty hunter doesn't mean she's inherently a bad guy or girl in this case. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Imagine that. What the space pirates intended for evil, these scientists are doing for good. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I hadn't hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah Station was under attack. And it's shaped like a donut, apparently. Space Colony. They choose to just call it Space Colony instead of calling it Ceres. But here we are, Super Metroid. 16 in all its 16-bit glory. I love this game, guys. You have no idea. It is so good. This first section is pretty easy. Just gets you used to the basic controls. A is jump. X is your... Your uh, arm cannon. I was trying to think of the name of it. You've got a very basic arm cannon now, but later on in the game, we'll be getting some significant upgrades. And you press down to crouch. Press the directional buttons to aim in any direction. You can press the R button to aim diagonally. And the L to aim 
diagonally down, so. Pretty cool stuff. A lot more advanced than the first game, which was on the NES, and you couldn't do any of that. It was very basic, so. If you went from the first Metroid to this, it kind of somewhat of is, is somewhat of a culture shock. And what happened here? Dead bodies. Broken case where the baby Metroid was. That's not good. Maybe it broke out. Well, we'll have to see. Venture further into this station. Oh, there it is. It's safe and sound. Right there. Can't pick it up. And we can't leave for some reason. Door won't open. Oh! Well, ladies and gentlemen, for those who don't know, this is Ridley, Samus's nemesis. Ridley was responsible for the death of Samus's parents. And she's made it her lifelong goal to destroy him. And unfortunately, here, we won't get that opportunity. At least not yet. We are not powerful enough to defeat Ridley. So this is a boss fight that is mandatory, but you will lose. So you can just take pot shots at it, and at a certain point, he will eventually try and escape. But it's very hard to lose this fight. And there he goes, taking the baby Metroid with him. Emergency, self-destruct sequence activated. Evacuate colony immediately. This is a running theme with Metroid games uh, from this point forward. Is escaping places very, very quickly. And they always give you a generous amount of time. As long as you don't lollygag, you should make it. There's not really that much of a danger despite how the game makes it look. Those steam vents will hit you, but they won't hurt you. They'll just make you stutter a bit. They're made to just kind of slow you down. The only really challenging part is coming up right here when you have to go upwards in the shaft because it is, it is moving down and you can get knocked down by the steam vents. But just take your time, don't freak out, and... Hit the elevator. You don't even have to hit the up button for the elevator. You just land on it and that's it. Just barely made it. Planet Zebus. The setting of the first Metroid game. And that's where the majority of this game will take place. Although, Zebus in this game is pretty expanded from the first. As far as I understand. I haven't played much of the first. I beat, I beat Zero Mission, but my memory of it is so foggy. There's a lot I couldn't tell you. Gosh, I love Samus's ship. Her gunship. Such an awesome design. It looks just like her visor, if you can see. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is Super Metroid. This is where the game will take place. Majority is here on Planet Zebus. So the first thing we want to do is go to the left... Oh, I also forgot to mention you can hold B to run. That's very important, and it'll come into play later. But you want to head down here. Head down this corridor here. So far, no real dangers have approached us. There's a couple doors. You can open the blue ones. But we can't open the pink ones just yet. But we can't go that way. We don't have what is necessary. Again, those who've played this game, they know exactly, exactly where things are going and what we need and all that. Go down another long corridor. Very reminiscent of the space colony Ceres we were just on. Or Cirrus, or I don't know how you pronounce it. Regardless, it's unimportant. Oh, now this is interesting. I'm just noticing this for the first time. If you pay attention, this is the area where you first fought Mother Brain. In the first game. And you'll notice the pylons have been destroyed and everything else. I never noticed that until just now. I've been playing this game since the Wii. I've never played it when it originally came out, but I've been playing it since it released on the Wii. And I've never noticed that. 
Wow. And so this is the area where you start in the first game. And much like the first game, if you jump over here, you'll see our first power-up, which is the Morphing Ball, later known as the Morph Ball for short. This allows Samus to roll up into a ball. Very useful ability. There's some areas that you can only get while doing that. And hello, Mr. Eye of Sauron there. How are you? You want to shoot that block out and then roll. Now, we can't do it yet, but later on, we'll be able to jump with this ability. But that won't be for a while. So we can head down here. Use our morphing ball. And get our next upgrade. Which is... Missiles! Another very useful items. And a majority of the pickups here will be missile expansions. Eventually, we'll get to the point where we have well over 100 missiles available to us. That is, if I get all of the missile tanks available. But with the missiles, we can now open these pink doors. By unloading a couple missiles into them. And here we find our first missile tank. And there is something I do want to show off here, but we won't be able to do anything with it for quite a while. If you hit a missile... Or actually, no, that's not going to work. Okay. So I just ran out of missiles, which is great. Don't worry, we'll get more very quickly. But there is a secret hidden up there. We'll have to remember it for later. I thought you could get it with missiles, but apparently not. You need something more powerful. The atmosphere is very eerie. This isn't a horror game, but look at those heads turning. Wow. Noticing so many things I missed in my last couple playthroughs. Alright. Alright. And whoa, hello! Here we have some space pirates. These are the easiest form, the green ones. Later on we'll be encountering forms that... ...are a lot tougher. I can't believe I never noticed this. That that's where you fight Mother Brain. I don't know why I never noticed that. I feel, I feel dumb. But, oh well. I guess a lot of playthroughs you're just kind of rushing through and you don't pay attention. But... I'm trying to be a little bit more methodical with this one. I'm gonna try to keep these parts at least 15 minutes, maybe a little over. But now that we have missiles, the area is far more accessible. Missiles and the Morph Ball. Now, come to think of it, that place where I said there was a secret area where I wasted my missiles, I don't know if that's actually the place. There is a secret there, but I don't think it, that's the secret I'm thinking of. I could be wrong. That's my main problem with this game, is I get areas mixed up quite a bit, because these maps are very maze-like. That was always my struggle and why I never initially beat it. Or, beat it? Oh my gosh. Why I never initially beat the game. And that was because of how maze-like things are, and I wasn't utilizing the map to its potential. You want to make sure to kill a lot of enemies early on to get pickups. If you're missing health, missing missiles, they'll occasionally drop some. If I could please hit... Thank you. Gosh, some of these are hard to hit. I don't remember where this leads. Oh, yes. Okay. This is a map room. Now we have map data. And we can see the areas we've been to, the areas we haven't. There's a wrecked ship. Meridia. Brinstar will be going there probably first. But we'll be going on the left direction, where it kind of slopes down there, you see? It's kind of jagged. There's also a save room that we'll have to hit up. But before we do that, I'm going to go to the blue area that's right above us, because there's an item in there. 
So let's do that. And on the way, get some lost energy and I think we're full on missiles. We've already got 10 with the missile tank. Alright, so we are actually at 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop the video here. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next part. This has been Super Koopa. God bless, have a good one. Peace.